So I'm going to answer the most popular question that I get asked all the time. Every single video, 3,000 times. People say, how do you not, well there's two, gain weight or get fat? Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we are answering the questions, the Q&A questions that you gave me. So first off, thank you very much. So I'm just here at my kitchen table. I'm gonna be eating some food. This is uh, just like jam on toast, which I need to eat because it's getting cold. I have some bell peppers, some apples, and I have some barbecue uh, pulled pork, barbecue pork that I made a while ago. Um, I've so I made about three weeks ago on the live stream and I've just like I've free I've frozen it since otherwise it would be bad But it tastes really good But I'm gonna start this quick because my food's getting cold. So this is gonna be a straight shot movie 20 minutes Hopefully no more So I better get started Because I have like 30 questions all right first question from DM you're set to go back into time for one day and then return to this point in time 24 hours later. You cannot bring anything with you. No money for a lotto. What point in time do you go to and what is the first thing you do to benefit yourself and only yourself? Uh, wow, that's quite the question. That's pretty deep. I don't know. I would go in the future. And I go in the future and just like see what it holds. That's what I do. I go in the future, see what it holds so I can change the now. And Queen to her king, king to her queen says, what will your next challenge be? I don't know yet, but I'll keep you posted. Watch my YouTube community tab for my travels. Ruben Gutierrez says, what do you do for a living? I'm a dietetic intern at the moment. Kat Tran says, do you enjoy Asian? Food, I mean, haha. -ha. I like Asian. Food. Serenity says, not quite a question, but I would like to see you do a cheat day food challenge with a food or cuisine you have not had before. Um, just buy the stuff, make your own challenge. I think it would be interesting. Only rule would be no package items. Okay, that's interesting. So. A lot of challenges I do, I've never had the food before. So like when I did a hot pot, that was my first time having a hot pot. Um, I did a fish challenge, I had like some kind of whoopee cake or something. I had this first time, gob cake, first time having that. So interesting idea. Mar Bezo says, any good advice on how to, how to improve more and more for an eating competition? You just gotta train. Um, There's quite a bit of info on foodchallenges.com. It sounds funny, but to get good at eating, you gotta eat like in more and more and more. And you gotta push yourself. Just like if you're trying to grow a muscle, stretch a muscle, you gotta continually stretch or continually push it. Fernando says you should come to London and try food challenges here. I'm assuming you mean England. I'd love to. <clears throat> Ma Kichu says, is your back pain okay? Oh, my back's okay. My abdomen's still really messed up, unfortunately. Zero Two says, how did you discover the business? I'm assuming you mean food challenges? Just kind of like Randy Chantel, Matt Stoney, Furious Pete, big names. Frankie Best says he's disappointing he misses in Rochester, but he'll catch us next time, as do I. Jeff Cousins says, why did you get the big holes in your ears? I got it because I wanted to, thought it was cool, and it's me. I've had them for years, by the way. A lot of people ask me that. 
Memphis. B Dogs, of course, says favorite hobbies besides travel and food. Plus, where's your favorite city and area? So, favorite hobbies? I don't really have hobbies besides eating and travel. I mean, I go to the gym. I like to explore, but I guess that's kind of traveling. Mm, I like to have deep discussions with people and just like socialize. I guess that counts. Favorite area and city? Mm, that's a tough one. I think one of my favorite cities in Canada, if not the favorite, but one of them is Vancouver. I don't know. I haven't been to like everywhere, so I can't say yet. And where is your dream location with food? Mm. Maybe Southern United States? I'm not sure. That's a hard one. Um, TVNT, so 21, says, how are you and Miss Danica? I uh, hope all is well, brother. Also get well soon. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, so I've addressed this in my previous q and I I don't know if people missed it, but uh, Janika and I went our separate ways back in May. Uh, so it's been a while. Oh, cops are going by. Oh, fire truck. Be with them. So me and Janika uh, went our separate ways back in May. Um, wasn't a scandalous breakup or anything. We just, we're, we've been doing distance for a while and just not what we wanted to do. So that's about that. We're still good. We're good with each other. Um, Joe Dita says, still the pain in your back and is your stomach okay? I saw you say you hurt your back. Oh, it hurt your stomach. Is it back to normal? So no, my abdomen's still messed up. My back's okay. Maddie Nina says, what do you think or do you think you will still be an eating competitor in the next five years or will it slow down? Well, with my injuries, I've had to slow down currently. Hopefully that doesn't last, but because I do enjoy it. I wouldn't do the eating thing if I didn't enjoy it, so. Derek Frame says, do you find it easier to eat with water and hamsters? What are your favorite kinds? Yes, I do. I definitely do. And my favorite kinds are the Hawaiian Punch brand flavor enhancers. I've liked every one I've tried except the orange one. Like these. I don't know if that'll focus, but Hawaiian Punch. Those are my favorite. Um, Jason Mass says, if you was ever to eat gator, how would you like it cooked? Fried or grilled? Mm. I, def I think I'd like it with like a bit of a sauce. I mean, anything deep fried is pretty good. I don't know. I'd try it anyway. Smoked or barbecued would be good. I like barbecue. Um, Eileen... Elaine Durr says, I've never seen you eat carbs like rice and pasta in your food challenges or all you can eat videos. Why? Um, I mean, I eat them if they are in a food challenge. Like I did a Japanese curry challenge, which included rice. But uh, in my all you can eat, I never go for it because it's just a cheap filler food. I'd rather eat like beef. Just a preference thing. TH101 says, how long is your average recovery time between each challenge? I would say if you averaged out how often I do a challenge, it would be like once a week. With that being said, there's like periods, excuse me, periods of three or four weeks, maybe even a month I haven't done a food challenge. Like now it'd be two weeks, I think. Um, and then there'd be periods where I do a couple in a weekend. So if they'd average out about once a week. Martina Vasquez says, how did you injure your stomach and abdomen? I know it was quite serious. It was quite serious, it sucks. What it's like 
I can't even like, I'm, I'll let you use your imagination, but you know you can like push, like let's say you're sitting on a, oh, full disclosure, you're sitting on a throne and you like try to push, I can't contract my abdom, abdominal muscles, it really hurts. Still this day, it's been over a month. Yeah, it's been over a month. Um, I just kind of like hurt it in the gym and then I think I kind of like irritated it worse. Um, but yeah. Aaron says, I don't, it's not PG, the first part of it. But he says, a spoon, a fork, or a, and a spork. I'm gonna go with a fork and a spoon. I'm not sure I understand your question, Aaron, but I love you. Uh, that's Aaron, the world's greatest moderator. Kieran Reilly says, how cool is doing challenge with my boys Randy and uh, Santel Magic Mitch? It's really cool. The great guys, really enjoy it. And uh, I always enjoy seeing them. Connor Pastel says, do you try many food challenges in Toronto or mainly other cities? Connor, um, with the exception of like a couple challenges which I have on my to-do list, I've done every one around Toronto. Like if you go back a year ago, I would have done every challenge around Toronto. There's a couple new ones which I will be doing in the coming weeks. So that's probably like my next, maybe some of my next food challenges. Um, Tara Chapman says, are you single? Define single. Nah, we'll go with, yes, I'm single. Uh, Nathan, Nathan Joseph Boone says, when will you be visiting the Philippines? I'm not sure. But I'd love to. Eve Daly says, what's your favorite thing to eat? Tropical fruits and barbecue, well, animals. Tropical fruits and animals. Ted says, do you regurgitate after your challenges? If so, are you concerned with long-term effects? Um, so the answer is no. I mean, it's happened sometimes. I, about two months ago now, video will be coming out soon, did a burger challenge where it literally came out raw. And the, like, I was like, can you cook this? And the lady was like, uh, I'll have to ask my manager and the manager wasn't there. So she's gonna like call him and I'm like Screw it. So I ate it and I meet like like it would like I wouldn't throw up it was coming out You know, what I mean I just finished enough to do it and then I ran away like towards the bathroom it Happens sometimes um, Elizabeth So Watsky says how do you prepare for a challenge? How long afterwards do you suffer? It really depends on the food. Um, carbohydrates are really hard. They make you just feel really not great, heat up really, really fast. Uh, prepare for a food challenge, just eat, drink, be merry. Uncle Chuckle says, do you work out, sleep, walk around, puke or deal with the pain after the eating? What's up all those questions? <laughs> Um, I work out, yes. I sleep, yes. I walk around, yes. Um, I deal with the pain, yes. Do I puke? Again, like I just said, not normally, but it's been a couple times where it just, it's coming out. Eat something bad, it's coming out. Um, BV Acro 88 says, what is the etiquette for tipping the wait staff when completing a food challenge? Do you do it on like the 18 to 20%, uh, even, if, even though you get the meal for free, or is it something that the restaurant should reimburse employees? Um, that's a great question, actually. Um, so it really depends. Like, I would say standardly, you like, there's times where I've been to like a food challenge and the service was so great that like I left like a big tip. By a big tip, I might mean like 20 bucks, but like the challenge might've been like $40 or $50. Um, minimally, I usually at least leave like five, 10 bucks. But I mean, it, it, I kind of base it on the overall experience. You know what I mean? Like if they throw the challenge, it's not cooked, they don't care. They're not gonna like whatever. Well, I mean, you know, use your whatever. Uh, but you don't, I don't always tip on the price of the meal but I always tip accordingly, and I always tip. Black and White says, is your internship over? No, it's not. Uh, it'll be going on until the end of April, 2020. 
Black and White also says, ever thought of changing your YouTube name to The Sexy Canadian? <laughs> I have not ever thought about that before you mentioned it. That'd be interesting. Alander says, when will you travel to Las Vegas? I'm hoping for November, I think 8th to the 11th. Jonathan Meyer says, when are you going to meet Katina from Katina Eats Kilos? That's a great question, Jonathan. I'm really not sure. Um, if we ever cross paths, I'd love to meet her. Um, I know you've been trying to get me to get a hold of her and it hasn't been uh, happening as of yet. But one day, and when I do, I'll mention you. I remember that. Lynn Men says, what made you interested in doing food challenges? Um, I've always just loved to eat. Something I thought I could do, and it turns out I can do it not too bad. X Chronics says, what foods do you eat to stay in shape? You basically watch me eat a normal meal, and I had, honestly, about three other pieces of bread before I even made it to the table. Um, but I mean, eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I enjoy them. It's not something that I'm like, well, I do it for health reasons. I think everybody should eat lots of fruits and vegetables, but I also enjoy them, so that helps. I like fruit. I like animals. Like, I just eat peppers like this. Because then I don't have to clean them. It's convenient. And most importantly, it's in my mouth quicker. What if I had to prep it? So I actually think that's all the questions, to be honest. That's all I have. That was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to answer. I made this paper up. So I'm going to answer the most popular question that I get asked all the time. Every single video, 3,000 times. People say, how do you not, well there's two, gain weight or get fat? And the, the answer is, I do gain weight. I gain weight all the time. But I don't allow myself to systemically or continually gain weight. Let me explain. So let's say my caloric needs are 2,500 calories a day. Is that better? I don't know if the light's better or not. Anyway, so let's say my cal caloric needs, my calories needs, uh, the amount of calories I need to maintain my weight is 2,500 calories a day. Not that much. And it's probably around there, maybe a little higher. Um, so let's say 2,500 calories per day, right? So over a week times seven days, I would consume 17,500 calories. I'm trying to read it backwards, but I think that's right. So yeah, 17,500. So over a week, right? So if I want to not gain weight over a week, I have to eat 17,500 calories and no more. And if I want to lose weight, I eat less. So let's say I do a food challenge that week and I eat 5,000 calories. So now, if I eat 5,000 calories every day, five times seven, I would be consuming double at 35,000 calories. I'd gain a lot of weight, right? This is my maintenance, right? So to not gain weight, 17,500. But if I, again, have one food challenge that week, let's say it was 5,000 calories, um, plus I eat 2,000 calories the rest of the week, right? So 5,000 one day, 2,000 the next six days, right? We have 12,000 plus 5,000 equaling 17,000. So 
that 17,000 is actually less than my maintenance. So if our math goes right, we probably we won't like actually systemically gain the weight. In fact, maybe we'll even lose no gain. And maybe we'll actually lose some weight, potentially. So again, I think that's about as simplistically as I can break it down. So in the short term, I'm overeating my caloric needs. <clears throat> Over the periods of weeks or months or whatever, I'm not. That being said, I'm gonna give a bit of an update, maybe a fitness update you can call it. Um, doing, I don't recommend like doing prolonged diets like I have now for about a year and a half or a year, because every time you lose fat, you also lose muscle. So I've, I've been losing, like again, I also have a number of injuries, which imp also impacts it. But, um, like I've lost a, quite a bit of muscle. So I'm gonna like, kind of, I don't wanna call it bulk, but I'm going to at least go up to like a caloric maintenance for an extended period of time, maybe a small surplus. So I might gain a little bit of weight. I'm hoping again that some of that or the majority of it will kind of be muscle or lean tissues, but I'll probably gain a bit of fat. So right now, like in the morning, I'm probably about 180, maybe 100, 180, low 180s, say 182. I might allow myself over the next, I don't know, eight months to go up about eight pounds, so maybe like 190, and then I'll just diet it off. Um, but I'm hoping during that time it can help my injuries finally heal because it's been a long time going. Um, if you want to know my injuries, so I have I, I have a big tendinopathy in my knee, which will probably I, so I haven't been able to like train legs in four years. I probably won't ever. I've kind of accepted I probably won't ever be able to train legs, um, just because nothing I've done has helped it. Uh, the only things left to really do or try would be like potentially stem cell um, therapy or maybe PRP, which are platelet injections. But the thing is, I think it's like kind of healed and it's probably just like an accumulation of scar tissue, which when exacerbated or irritated, it like swells and I can't even walk. Um, I have ongoing tendonitis, proximal bicep tendonitis here really tight forearm, that's not that's not a super bad injury, it has been really bad. Uh, then I have my abdomen right now, my right side, which is really irritating me, but. Then I have a pec injury, which has been ongoing now for probably six, seven years. Um, I think I partially tore a tendon. And again, just like, I can irritate it, swelling, a lot of pain, whatever, but. That's that. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna like gain a little bit of weight over the next, I don't know, eight months, but I'm okay with it. It's purposeful. You're not really gonna notice it um, unless you're looking at me with my clothes off. So yeah, I'd be pretty good. Um, hopefully I'll heal. Um, but with that, I wanna thank you. Thank everybody. We're about 20 minutes now, so I'm gonna stop. But thank you everybody. I really appreciate your support. Um, we literally, just for the first time, I just saw this when I opened up the uh, questions, but I didn't really want to mention it right away, but we just hit 30,000 subscribers. And honestly, I am I'm kind of at a loss of words. I am very humbled. I think it's amazing. That's such a cool number, like 30,000. Just as a certain way it rolls off the tongue, right? But uh, <laughs> So I want to thank you all for your support, your continued support. Uh, I know a lot of you have been around here from the like the beginning and for an extended period of time. So whether you're new or just here, I really appreciate your support. I appreciate you, appreciate you all. Uh, I do try to respond to all the comments. It can take a lot of time sometimes, but I do read them all. So again, thanks very much, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this, I'm glad I got the Q&A. And I have some exciting stuff coming up. So stay tuned, please watch my YouTube community tab because that's where um, I post all my travel updates, etc. Because I will be doing some traveling in the next two months. Two months, month and a half, two months. To some cool places. So that everybody, thanks again. Until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry.
happy eating. Enjoy pepper.